I am going into the woods, get past the tree and hold my weed to get some cow. Into the woods, no cows can tell what's waiting on the journey. Into the woods to bring the cows, can breed them and slaughter them. Never can tell what they can be made for all that I know. It's gonna be great. But into the woods, into the woods, into the woods, back to my house and home before time. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Spice of Life! So I was just getting some cow that I found a few episodes ago because I need them to make something today. So this episode we're going to do something really special because remember we met Taylor last night? I mean last episode. She invited us to her house to cook her family dinner. Yay! Are you excited, Oliver? I bet you do. So, um, guys, do you see that? Look at me. I got full iron armor and an iron sword and a almost broken iron pickaxe. Because I went to a mining session finally. Because I realized that <clears throat> if I don't got some basic protection, I'm gonna bro got blown up again by a creeper again next episode. Hopefully not this episode. So um, I have been working really hard. I have sorted the items. So I've made this double chest to place on my items. For this one, this is gonna be my uh, like construction building materials. This is gonna be and uh, also the the farming and planting stuffs and <clears throat> this one is the random items and the things from my mining session <clears throat> and look at this this chest is almost full because <clears throat> it's I found a lot of vegetables in the last four episodes right and this is the only thing that I found and the fruits are in this chest and this one is the meat I found and the dairy products and some spices and flavorings so um, before I'm going to start cooking I think I'm going to make some basic tools <clears throat> so um, I need to make some basic tools and equipment for cooking so let me get the materials that I need. I'm gonna need some iron. Oh, I need to make some more sticks. So I need a little bit more wood. I think that that will do. And I need um, some bricks. I couldn't find clay, but Taylor is very nice. She helped me to order a stack of clay and I have just smelted them into bricks because I need bricks for to make one of the equipment that I need for cooking. I also need some wood planks which I think I got it already and I also need smooth stones also smelted it for this episode and a stone pressure plate which I will make it right now. Yeah, uh, Okay, I guess that's all the thing I need. So let's start making the equipment. The first thing that I need to make is a pot. You need a pot to do a lot of cooking. <clears throat> oh, so cute. Ooh. Okay, then I need to make a saucepan. Yes, I believe it's that. And a skillet. Is it how you pronounce it? I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I never made a shear, I just realized. I don't think I have enough iron. Now I'm gonna make a bakeware. When you do all the baking, you need bakeware. Because I love to bake in real life, so. Okay, now I need a mixing bowl. It's very important because you need to mix all the ingredients a lot of time. I believe it's three wood and then a stick 
in the middle. Yes, perfect. And let's see. We also need to make a juicer, but I'm not sure if we need to use that today. And a cutting board, very important because obviously we need to cut a lot of ingredients. A wood tank over here. Yay! And also a motor and a pestle, which I believe is um, a stick in the top middle part and surrounded it with wood, no, smooth stone, right? Yes, yes. Last but not least, we're gonna make a stone sink today. Which needs a lot of iron. Six. I'm almost out of iron again. I probably need to go for another caving session soon. Yes, and that will give you a limited water source. So let me place down this stone basin. Okay. Yeah, we got all the things we need. <clears throat> so, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare a four-course meal for the Smith family. And I don't have many any recipe on my hand, so I'm going to make things that I have made before that I have memory. So today, I'm going to make four dishes. A spring salad. Yum yum yum. A meaty stew, a chicken pot pie, and a cherry cheesecake for dessert. Sounds delicious. I wish I can eat it in real life. I'm so hungry right now. All right, let's start cooking. So the first thing that I'm gonna make is the spring salad. So what I need is a cutting board, lettuce, and any vegetable. So let me place down this cutting board here. Lettuce here and tomato and I believe then we can make a spring salad. It looks really really tasty and fresh, and very healthy. Then we are going to make a meaty stew. So to make a meaty stew we first need flour and to make flour we need to use the motor and pesto to use it on the wheat so that we can make flour from it. There! Alright, then we need to make the base for the soup which I believe is... Um, when I was small, my mother told me that it's a pot, um, a mixing bowl, and you can put like bones or vegetables or anything or meat oh you don't need the mixing bowl yeah okay I got three stock <clears throat> then after making the stock we need to place everything we need to put the flour one of the stock and we're gonna make a meaty stew, so we need some raw beef and a mixing bowl. <clears throat> and where the hell is the mixing bowl? There we go. Am I doing something wrong or what? Oh, I pot. Oh, I guess I don't really need the mixing bowl. Okay, then we have a meaty stew. <sighs> I really want to eat it. <sighs> okay. So we got two things made and finished ready. We just need to finish to make the main dish, which is the chicken pot pie and the cherry cheesecake. So for a chicken pot pie, we first need to make a dough. To make a dough, we need flour, salt, a water bucket, and a mixing bowl. So I need to get some salt from this chest. Yes. Okay, and put the salt here, and the flour here, and the water bucket, 
and mixing bowl. I believe. Alrighty. So now we put dough here and the bakeware because we're baking it. Um, a raw chicken. Oh, I know what I need to do. It's time for another sacrifice. Hi, chicken. I've been breeding a lot of chicken. So I'm. S oh, you sealed your fate. I'm sorry, chicken, but you choose to leave the pan so. I'm gonna kill you next because you escaped. Mm hmm. Okay, potato, carrot, a doll, a bakeware, and a raw chicken gives us a chicken pot pie. Hot and delicious. I love that you can reuse the item. I thought I'm gonna like lost all these items and then make it again. I guess after all I don't need a lot, that much of iron. Okay, so last but not least, to end this meal, we're gonna make a cherry cheesecake. The first we need to make a cherry cheese we need to make a cheesecake before we make a cherry cheesecake. So again, we need to make some basic ingredient. We need to make a heavy cream. We need um Milk and a Mexican bowl. And I don't have milk, so I guess I need to make a bucket. Oh, I lost the water bucket. Okay. There. Oh, I've, I'm out of inventory space and I need water and flash. Yuck. Who wants to eat water and flash? Okay. Give me your milk. Oh, I want to drink some first. Oh, I love milk. Okay. Now we're gonna use this milk to make the heavy cream. Oh, this gives you fresh milk? What's the difference? I don't know. Mixing bowl. And we got some heavy cream. Okay. Oh. <coughs> um. Okay. Okay. I think we got all we need. So let's make the cheesecake. Let's put a big wear here. And no, we don't have the flour. 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 Cutting board. No. A motor and a pestle. Yes, got it. Um. All right, let's make cheesecake finally. So we put the bakeware here. We are going to pick. <sighs> I forgot to get my sugar. Sugar is here. And put this here for now. Finally, we got everything. <clears throat> a big wear, a sugar, flour, an egg, and some heavy cream gives you a cheesecake. Then, now we need to put some cherry on top. So, cherry. We got lots of cherry. It's very easy to find. Okay. So, I believe this is how you make a cherry cheesecake. You place some cherry on top of cheesecake. Oh! Cherry cheesecake! I bet that's yummy, but it's not for me to eat. It's for the Smith family. I need to give them a really good dinner. Because, I mean, after all, I'm opening a restaurant here. Like, if I can't convince them that I can cook, uh, then no one's gonna come. Yay! Finally, it's turning night. So I guess it's time to visit the Smith family. 
Da -da -da. I hope the stew is still kind of hot. And so is the chicken pie. I've reheated them. Okay, dinner is ready. Are you guys ready? So, um, the first dish. Oh, I shouldn't step on the table. It's so rude. Sorry. Why are you gonna be so rude? Okay, so I present to you the first dish a spring salad. Very healthy, fresh appetizer for you. And you, and you. And then we are going to serve you with a meaty stew. Yum and hot and delicious meat soup. The main dish is going to be warm and tasty and crispy and and with a very rich chicken flavor. Chicken pot pie. Oh yum and del delicious. Zombie you are ruining all of this. I hope you guys don't mind. And finally to end this wonderful dinner, I'm going to present you the delicious, fruity, I don't know any more adjectives, the strawberry, no, it's a cherry cheesecake. Enjoy the meal. Alicia, how's the food? Oh, it's amazing. If it brings back so many memories. Chris, don't you agree? Is it so? All I can think is the lack of bread we are having tonight. Oh, Dad, for the love of God, stop thinking about the bread. We had enough of it for the last few years. Alicia, what kind of memories are you talking about? The good ones or the bad ones? The goods for sure, definitely. Oh, the good old times. People gather together a lot, and the village is so full of light. We sing, we dance, and we have a lot of fun. And as someone like you, I always bring and cook good food to the people here. It was very different from what you see today. Well. I'm glad that you enjoy the food that I cooked. You are a pretty good cook. I have high hopes on your restaurant here. Yes, yeah, son. Your food is pretty good. But I think bread is still the best. Oh, Dad, shut up! Oh, guys, I'm so happy. I can't believe that I just made a dinner for the Smith family. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of myself. I have a great feeling on what's gonna happen next. In the next episode, I'm gonna continue to work on my house and the restaurant. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to smile and be happy. And remember to have a nice meal, just like what the Smith family did. Look at those food, yeah. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Bye.